Still time to enter tonight's Meyer Trivia Contest. When it was the first time St. John's and Jefferson both made the playoffs in the same year? Give you a hint, George H.W. Bush was president. We well, don't have to go back to the early 90s to find a big game for Ohio State, but the Buckeyes secondary will be less than 100% tomorrow night or Saturday night, I should say, in East Lansing. Armani Reeves likely won't play as he continues to battle focus issues, and Eli Apple has a tight hamstring but is expected to start against Michigan State. Earlier this week, Urban Meyer described Ohio State and Michigan State like two sledgehammers hitting each other. Statistically, they are very similar. Now, OSU won the last meeting in East Lansing in 2012, but of course the Spartans beat the Buckeyes in the Big Ten title game last year. A loss Ohio State has not forgotten. The Buckeyes believe the game won't be won on Sunday or on Saturday, but rather on every day in practice leading up to the game itself. They're the king of the top. They're the king of the hill right now and because they won the championship, and you have to dethrone them. How you do that? You outwork them Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You know, like I said, the preparation is going to be key for this game. You have two pretty good teams going against each other. Um, it's getting late in the season, and so um, you know teams are getting a little bit more savvy, and, and players are becoming better. So you have to prepare really well. It's a good football team, and, and a well-coached football team, and they know their stuff very well. Again, it's a staff that's been together for a long, long time, and and uh, they they know their system. Uh, you know, they know what they're going to do, and uh, you know our job is to execute a game plan really flawlessly. But I know me personally, and I know every guy on the team has been looking forward to this. They've had this date circled since the game last year. So um, there's a lot at stake. 